A lot of people are very interested in the idea that I have spirit guides. There's, there's some divine force out there interested in me and helping my life work, but I'm not so sure. People want evidence. Hi, I'm Sonia Shokat. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to actually get the evidence that your spirit guides are working with you and available so you'll open up to it and let that kind of help in even more. But before I dive in, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this video, please be sure to push the subscribe button so you will stay tuned for more of these kinds of little vignettes of insight that will make your life work wonderfully. Now let's get back to spirit guides. We have as many spirit guides available to help us as you can actually look in your neighborhood of people that you know, friends, family, associates, helpers, teachers that can really show up and be in your life. But the idea is, well, if they're in the spirit world, how do I know it's real? What is the evidence? What can I do? Well, I think that's a fair question. And you can have evidence by asking them, asking your spirit guides to give you evidence. One of the first types of guides we have is angels. And they love to leave their signature. Angels keep you safe, they keep you on your path, they guard you, direct you out of harm's way. And you can ask an angel for help and ask for evidence that the angel's on the job and then open your eyes and keep an eye out. It won't be long before you're gonna see something like a feather on the ground, that's their signature calling card. You might see a penny, but you'll definitely have some sense. You might look up in the sky, see a cloud that looks like an angel, but what you'll also have is an experience that just can't quite be explained away that made your life go better, that saved you from some difficulty, that spared you some kind of close call moment. And if you acknowledge and pay attention, you will see the evidence. Now, the other thing about working with angels and spirit guides is they are there to help you but they're not gonna interfere and try to intrude. It's just like when you, when you call a helper, a therapist, someone to come help you as a handyman at the house, you need a helper to work on the garden. They don't just show up and knock on the door. You actually have to put some kind of an, a, a message out to say, I need your help, some kind of a request. So working with guides starts with the request. What do you want help with? Particular guides help address particular things, just like particular helpers address particular things. Therapists work with mental health. Doctors work with physical health. Yard workers keep your yard healthy and, and looking beautiful. So asking is the first step to working with guides. Asking for help in any particular thing. And you wanna call in angels if you feel scared, threatened, uncomfortable, uncertain, insecure, in self-doubt. If you feel you're entering a situation where you're not feeling confident, you're feeling doubtful, you're not sure that the, the experience you're gonna have is gonna be positive for you, that would be a good angel request. If you're worried about someone, if someone is out of touch and you don't know and haven't heard from them and can't get through to them, you can ask an angel for help. If you are worried yourself about traveling or being safe and moving from A to B and who isn't these days, ask an angel for help. Secondly, believe. Now it seems like a, 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 a stretch for some people, but if you, if you ask for help, you have to believe that it's available because otherwise you're closed off to it. You know, it's sort of like two people driving a car into a very dense inner city looking for a parking space. One believes I'll find one easily and one doesn't. And they're both right. So your belief creates availability to be helped. That's another big point. And then three, at the end of the day, review your day. What happened? Did you get help? Did something show up? Did you believe? Did you see a sign? It's fun to look for signs. 
that your angels and your guides are available. It's, 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 a, it's a new way of, of perceiving the world. It's opening your lens and seeing more than most people see. The problem is with most people is our brains work like a, like a camera. It takes snapshots of things. And so we no longer are present in life. We're, we're more reflecting on what we saw of a situation in the previous week or five years ago. So we're not really noticing what's right in front of our eyes. When you start to pay attention and look for signs, that your guides and your angels are helping you. You also create within you an internal state of awareness. You expand it. You become more mindful. You become more acute in, in being able to perceive what's happening to you right now. So angel spotting and looking for signs from guides is an internal practice that brings you forward out of fear, out of anxiety, out of the past, out of worry, so you actually begin to recognize the doors opening, the opportunities, the synchronicities, the assistance. I have a daughter who has a, a little game she plays with when she comes to Paris where I live. And the game is that there's this little street art all over the place that are very tiny. They're up on buildings, they're, they're in innocuous places. And her job is to look and scan for them and take a picture. And then it adds up. There's a thousand of them. How many can you find? Well, it's an excellent game to teach you to pay attention and look more closely at what's right in front of you. Translate that same thought to looking for guides, looking for angels, looking for help, looking for signs. And you will have evidence within 48 hours. So you don't have to believe me. And when I say believe, I mean make yourself available to the experience. You know, Einstein said this, there's two ways to live life. One is if nothing's a miracle. And the other is if everything's a miracle. When you step into the everything's a miracle per paradigm frame of, you know, point of view, frame of mind, then everything starts becoming miraculous. You get to choose, but when you choose to have life be more, more assisting, more miraculous, you choose to believe and make yourself available to angels and guides making your life go better, I can assure you within two days, you will have plenty of evidence, not just feathers on the ground, not just pennies here and there, but experiences that turn around and all of a sudden what you didn't think was possible becomes possible. What seemed like a fluke, all of a sudden you recognize as a gift where you weren't paying attention, you can wake up look ahead, see an opportunity to step into something positive or away from danger. So this is how you begin to work with guides. I say believe, but I'm not saying believe me. What I'm saying is believe it's possible. Be curious and then test the theory. Don't be negative. Don't be cynical. Don't, don't be suspicious because that narrows the filter, that clouds the view, that puts you in a defended state, and it gives you a bias on your experience. It doesn't hurt you to believe for a day or two that maybe you have some help and things can work out for you because there's a very loving universe that wants to make your life fun and beautiful and happy and work out. Believe it enough to test the theory, to have the experience for a couple of days, and then be fair, pay attention, notice the subtle, acknowledge it. And if you really want to amplify your experience of having angels and guides in your life, and you really want to have fun, write down every single day, any wonderful thing that happened to you, just write it down because you will have evidence in what you're writing and you can't dispute that. So just as a little final tip, start the day asking for help, asking for whatever help you need. You have to ask. It's just like calling the, the, the person to come help you out in the yard or the house or with your, with your mental health. Make the call, write it down. And at the end of the day, write down what happened. 
within three days, you'll have evidence that your guides are on the job and happy to help and grateful you called. So try this and see if you actually shift and have a big experience of being helped really quickly. Again, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, come back. We have lots of tips and tools. I give them weekly and I'd love for you to be in that life, like Einstein said, where everything's a miracle. Thanks for watching.